This is my new uh, switch panel, like that. Power switch, function switches. Um, I know it looks a bit bland, you know, but the BMS actually sits up here. So I can't really do a lot. Anyway, these switches go there. This is the, the switch board. Uh, so I've got three connectors here, which goes to the switches. Uh, the teensy so detects whether it's short or open, and then it'll fire any one of these uh, MOSFETs. These are just N-channel MOSFETs, link in the description. And the outputs from those, which I haven't wired up yet, but the outputs from those goes to the LEDs. So what I'm going to do is somehow um, figure out what goes to where. And I've decided I'm going to make this plug and play because last time it was just it was hardwired and everything was such a bloody nightmare to get it out. Oh, this is just a single power wire that powers everything and the switches and well, I'm open anyway. Although I don't need I don't need the LEDs to work on the switch. I'm not bothered with them. It's quite obvious whether it's switched on or not. So I'm going to do that, uh, and hopefully it'll all work and not set on fire. It's taken me literally all day to get the back brake on in a fashion. Oh, I've had to put one of these crappy, the old... Uh, cable operated brakes on it there because um, these are too wide. I'll try and show you actually. You see that won't go in because it touches the hub um, and I can't move the disc out any further because it won't go much further at all because there's only that amount to actually get it, you know what I mean, space it out. So, the clearance on that now, I don't know if you can actually see it, see that side, you can see, oh, bugger, come on, focus you f thing, <laughs> anyway. The clear oh, bollocks to it. The, the clearance on it is, I think there's about 3 mil clearance. The other thing I've done, because I've now got the caliper on and I've got the mounting, the bracket actually fitted there and it's bolted to the frame, there's actually a lip on the back. There's a lip there you see. So, the torque arm which is beyond this masking to uh, insulating tape the torque arm actually rests against this now when the torque is actually operating when the motor is operating the torque will push the arm down this way so it will push against that arm if it will um, if it does move but it won't physically go any further it's physically impossible for it to go any further than that so that's the solution to the torque arm problem. Um, that, there's no way that's going to go anywhere. No way on the face of the earth. That's only there to stop when I've got the regen enabled. Um, that's just to stop the thing from coming backwards. Although the torque, the back torque isn't that much, so it'll be alright. So the brakes on. Um, I've just got to basically attach it to the other end and cut the cable tires off or could leave that on the wheel yeah. so it works uh, in a fashion um, yeah I've got a bit of uh, fettling to do on the cable now while I've got this upside down I'll show you this belly pan that I did which is just 3D printed it's very thin and it's only there just to stop the splashes basically, uh, which you can see. I've cleaned it a few times. Um, there's the channel in, in there, which I can put all the wires and everything else through. So, yeah, it works per perfectly actually. 
So that's that. I've got to do uh, put the wires, all the phase wires and the sensor wires uh, back in. Clean the mud off while it's upside down. And then I don't like that cable. Bright orange cable. Hey ho, needs must. <sighs> I don't know if I like it or not. Obviously there's only, it's nowhere near done. Um, I'm a bit pissed off with that. <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to, um, I've been looking at the, the skeletal or something like that uh, calipers. Which is supposed to be a lot thinner than normal calipers which I'm going to put on the back. So, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know if I like it or not. Don't know if I like it. <laughs> I've never been uncertain about anything. I don't know. Uh, do I like it? It makes it tidier. Yeah? Oh, excuse that on the seat. <laughs> mm. First time I've used my charger. I don't think it's actually accurate. <laughs> um, I've had to take the top off because I mean the fans coming on there was a few things wrong with it so it's back to the drawing board on that one. I think the voltage is roundabout right uh, but the current I don't think is. Oh dear. Anyway I'm charging it to go out for its maiden run. So we'll see how it goes. Fingers and everything else crossed. Yay, the first lights come on. Thank God for that, I was getting a bit worried. Actually, there's, two, there's one on, two on. So we've got two lights. I don't understand it. We're on 75.8 volts. I can't go any higher. Plus switch, time to go out. Because the sun's going to go down soon. Anyway, off we go. I am actually shitting myself, and I don't know why. I really am shitting myself. Anyway, off we go. I've had to clean it a few times. So he's... Uh, <coughs> bollocks. Twat. It's two degrees today. I've got some um, 203mm brakes coming. Some new rotors. This back brake that I've put on here, waste of time. Total waste of time. Honestly, it doesn't do a damn thing. 